Hey everybody, well I hope you're doing well. Hope that you are walking through this coronavirus shutdown time okay. Uh, and that you're getting the opportunity to get outside, to do some things around the house, to do some things uh, out in your yard or uh, whatever, or I hope that the kids aren't driving you crazy yet. Um, so I just wanted to share today's video with you, the video from March 24th, 2020. Again, we'll be having a series of videos every week that'll come out just to keep you up for, informed and connected about what's happening here at Redeemer. But I wanted to start off this morning by coming to you and sharing with you a passage from the book of Jeremiah. Um, the, the exiles, the Jewish exiles during Jeremiah's age had, uh, had been taken off into exile into Babylon. And they were starting to ask the question, how long are we going to be here, right? Uh, how long are we going to be in this place? There was a lot of anxiety, a lot of desire to get back home, to get back to life, to get back uh, to establishing their businesses, their families back in Jerusalem. And God comes to them and says, no, you're not going back yet. Just settle in. Relax. Breathe. Start to build your life here in Babylon. Uh, establish your businesses. You know, establish your families. Uh, start to get the life back here in, in Babylon. You're going to be here for a while. In fact, they're going to be there for 70 years, God tells them. And then as he tells them this to just kind of settle in and establish their life in Babylon, he tells them these words, a very famous passage from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. He says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. In other words, God says, trust me. I've got a plan for you. I've got a plan for this time of kind of, it's a weird time. Yeah, absolutely. It's a time of in between. You're not back at home, but you're not quite settled in here yet, but settle in here because I've got a plan for you. Okay, and I think that's an important message for us as we go through this time of, boy, how long is this going to go on? How long are we going to be in this weird space and weird time? God is saying, relax. I've got a plan for you. I've got a plan for all of us to love and serve our neighbors as we go through this time together. And really that, that frames our conversation today because that's really what I want to share with you today. We've got a couple of things that are uh, in that area of loving and serving our neighbor that I want you to know about. First of all, Last week, I told you about a food plan that we are going to use to support the needs of our community and our neighbors. Uh, well, it's been going very well. We've received a lot of food donations and, and a lot of financial donations to support that cause. So thank you very much for everybody at Redeemer that has been contributing to that. We've also been getting contributions from our community, contributions from uh, the people that live around us and from our CDC families. So again, it, it's been a wonderful thing to see everybody come together and support those people in need. So every day we continue to receive food donations. There's a, a big bucket that's outside our, uh, our administrative office entrance upstairs. So you can just drive by and drop those off. But now we're also getting ramped up for distribution days and times. And I want to share those with you. Uh, this coming Thursday, we're going to have a distribution to needy families from 3 to 6. On Saturday, we'll have a distribution from 11 to 2. And on Sunday, we'll have a distribution from 1 to 4. And this information is going to be going out to our community through our social networks and through our other networks as well so that we can basically say to folks, anybody that has food needs during this time, you can come by. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a drive through if you will. We'll have a tent outside. We'll have uh, people that will just line up with their cars. We'll have people that are directing traffic. And, and we just need some volunteers to help us during this time to distribute food. We'll keep uh, social distancing uh, uh, provisions in place and all that kind of stuff to make sure that people stay safe and not get exposed unnecessarily. And so we'll just keep people uh, at, 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 you know, in a good place here. But we are going to need some volunteers, probably five, six volunteers for each day. Um, so that we've got enough volunteers to make this happen, okay? And again, we'll just keep everybody um, um, safe. We'll take uh, careful precautions there. If you've got questions, if you'd like to volunteer for this, contact Becky Wade, and she will make sure that she gets you lined up. Again, we need about five or six volunteers for every day, so just contact Becky Wade if you have any questions for that. And again, thank you for everybody that's been supporting in this effort. Uh, second thing I want to let you know about is a phone team that we've got set up. Um, and we've got about 20 volunteers that are going to be a part of this that are going to be, over the next several weeks, contacting every member of Redeemer Lutheran Church to just kind of check in and say, hey, how are things going? Are you okay? 
Uh, are there any things that you need? Can we pray for you in any way uh, to just uplift and support uh, our community here at Redeemer and to, again, pull us together to make sure that we are all living in this family that we have together here at Redeemer? Uh, so again, if you get a phone call or a text from somebody over the next couple of days or weeks from a weird number maybe that you don't recognize, chances are it could be somebody from Redeemer's phone team that's just reaching out to you and say, hey, uh, you know, this is Matt Bean from Redeemer, and I just want to call you and say, hey, how are things going? Uh, is there anything that you need, anything that we can do to pray for you at this time? Okay, so you, you'll, pro you'll be getting uh, one of those phone calls or a text in the next couple of days uh, just to connect with you, okay? So uh, that's the updates from Redeemer for March 24th. Again, I'll have another uh, update for you um, um, later on this week, probably Thursday or Friday. Connected to this email, you'll see a couple of links. Uh, first, you'll see a link to an inventory list. If you would like to uh, donate uh, uh, individual items for, for uh, the food drive, go ahead and look at that inventory list, and you can, uh, and you can uh, go out and purchase some things that are from that inventory list. And then the second thing is also um, Sunday's message. This last Sunday's message, I had about a 15-minute message that I did on Facebook Live. If you're not connected on Facebook, you can go ahead and click on the link and watch the message and, and see it there. Uh, so if you have any questions, again, any needs, do not hesitate to drop me a, an email or uh, send me a, a, a message or whatever and, and uh, send me a voicemail, whatever, and, and, and we'll make sure that we respond to that. Again, God's blessings to you, and remember... The Lord has a plan for us. Even in this weird space, this weird time, the Lord has a plan for us. To plan to bless us and to continue to encourage us and lift us up and help us to love and serve our neighbor in the name of Jesus. So God's blessings to you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.